average, the West Bank Animal Shelter houses around 500 animals at any given time. East Bank Animal Shelter houses about 350. And for each shelter, we have approximately four to five employees um, scheduled every day to care for that amount of animals um, as far as the animal care attendance. Ready to go? All right. I'm Michelle Brignac. I'm the Director of Shelter Operations for Jefferson Parish Government. Most of the animals that come in the animal shelter, not all of them, um, are, uh, you know, they're from, the, they're from the streets. That's pretty much what their life has been. They, they don't know to hold whenever they have to go potty. They're, they're not, you know, kennel trained. A lot of them don't have any, any training like that. So um, the misconception comes from the fact that, you know, uh, animals do what animals do. And unfortunately, they're in a very, con you know, confined area. <laughs> um, and that's where they have to do it. So um, I can see why, you know, the people might think that. And as far as the animals, you know, they do get baths whenever they come in, they get intake vaccines, they get cared for. Some of them do come in disarray, maybe missing hair, extremely thin. They don't look well kept. And so we try to fix that the best that we can. Some of them do come in with like chronic disorders, um, skin issues and, and things of that nature. So we really do the best that we can for them. Systemically, they're about $67, and that includes spay neuter, rabies vaccine, heart room treatment if they're uh, positive. They, they do get intake vaccinations and deworming whenever they come in, and then they get boosters after they've been here a while, as well as flea prevention. And if they're heart room negative, they stay on heart room prevention while they're here. Something like that, if you were to take a, an animal to the veterinarian to receive all of those things, you're looking at, with office fit, visit included, anywhere from be about 180 but upwards to the amount of $400, just one animal. And we do it for, you know, as far as the adoptions and stuff, a lot less. So, I mean, it's pretty impressive if you think about it. The biggest donation that anybody could ever give to either, to any shelter, not just Jefferson, but to any animal shelter, is probably the most expensive one, and that is their time. We really do just need volunteers. We need more than what we have here to have the ability to um, do more adoption events, um, to have the ability to take, you know, to help socialize animals. It's probably the best and the worst job you could possibly ever have because you get to actually be around uh, animals and you love animals, but at the same time, they shouldn't have to live in a box. You know, that this isn't fair and it's also not their fault. Technically, it's the human's fault that, that we're in this situation. So we all need to collectively get together to figure out a solution because, you know, um, I, uh, you know, it's just not natural for them to have to live this way. <laughs>